You have to be an embodiment of the music. There's a saying in orchestral circles, it sounds like it looks, and to a certain extent that is true. And let's just say that you have to cue somebody who's over here, and you want a particular kind of reaction which you believe is what the composer wants because the composer has put in dynamics and articulation saying how hard or how soft to attack a note and let's just say it's soft you're probably going to get a gentle reaction if you do That's, that's so much less information. Somebody over here has to come in very strongly on one after this has been, let's say, quite soft. I mean, you can just see the kinetics of that gesture. It helps. I don't often use my mouth, although I'm starting to more. I, I, I've seen... Um, other conductors, you know, who are very famous people who um, do anything they can with their face um, and with their mouths, you know, sort of articulate the music. But I, I don't do very much of that, but sometimes it does, it does come in handy. You, would, you just want to hope that nobody can see you. I've never watched myself conduct, ever. I think a lot of things happen when you, you study score and when you think about the shape of it. I've picked up some very good things along the way. I've been very lucky to have worked as a player with very, very good conductors Maybe the most influential conductor for me is Harvey Solberger. He was, he was always very clear, but Harvey's gestures, which are actually far more flamboyant than mine, really gave the information. So if you have someone who shows you the way that the music should go through gestures, it makes a very large difference. Music is funny in terms of notation because what you get is a lot of information off of the page and what you find is that it's never enough. The music that we play has a lot of changing meters. Bars very often are not in the same time signature. So in the back of your mind, you have to remember what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You can't be thinking about it. But at the time that it's happening, I hear the sound while I'm doing it that I've imagined for myself from studying the music. I think it's really good to have an idea and not just be uh, reactive. You wanna, if you're gonna be of any use, you wanna project um, uh, a certain point of view. And by the way, there are <laughs> lots of different points of view of a piece that work. 
in the case of the Kokoros piece last night, it was very important for me to also be large. It must have seemed very out of proportion, my, my gestures, but the problem is that the pianist could not look at me directly because his face was down in the piano the entire time. So I wanted to be sure that we were in communication. When you either coach or conduct an ensemble, you have to get after them for every detail that you possibly can in as uh, constructive and persuasive way as possible. That's probably the majority of my job to make sure that things go correctly but then that would never make a particularly interesting performance. Uh, that would be roughly the same as doing a, a MIDI realization of a piece, which if you've ever heard one is a pretty dreadful experience. That piece also requires drama. And if it is not dramatic, it will sound very anemic. As someone said, is an older maestro and an aspiring young conductor who said, Maestro, I would love to work with you. I would love to spend time in your rehearsals. I would love to talk to you. I would ask you to watch me. And this conductor said, Well, this is what it comes down to. The so downbeat is down. The upbeat is up, and the rest is left to experience. Now, I don't think that's entirely true, but, you know, you watch a lot of famous conductors, and they don't do things very often in a conventional way. For example, Fritz Reiner, very famous conductor of the Chicago Symphony, was a person whose gestures, and this is, you know, a large orchestra, and his gestures were, you know, just here, and the music would be going but that's what they were used to. What you can't do as a conductor is to over gesture everything that happens. And the music was and you're going Well, I just went natural on that, but uh, uh, what I'm saying is that well, the orchestra won't get any sense of long line. You'll just get bumps. A guy named Joel Smirnoff said, to me, conducting is dance. That it's very, very important that you are basically doing something which looks like a physical version of the music with your entire body. <laughs> 